Hi guys, you're welcome to my channel. My name is Abimbola Kayo Diakon and this is Exiba TV. So if you are coming in for the very first time, you are in the right place. Thank you for coming. And if this is your second time of tuning in, thank you for joining us again, for joining me again. So today I'm going to take us through a very interesting topic, like very, very interesting topic. But before we go ahead, before we proceed, please hit that subscribe button right now. <laughs> hit the subscribe button, subscribe to this channel and um, stick with me. So guys, today I'll be talking about postpartum trip. Like the things I wish I knew before I had my baby or the things I wish I was told before I had my baby. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about, oh, before I get into the topic, you know, people say that pregnancy experiences is unique to every individual. It is unique to everybody. Everybody experiences pregnancy in a different way. And um, there's also a saying that childbirth is unique to every individual. There are different experiences. No two individuals have the same exact type of experience. So I'll be sharing my experience with you guys because I strongly believe that experiences are relatable. There are some things that people go through and um, when they get talking, you actually, you actually um, see that it is something you can relate to. It. it is something that you've either heard before or you've experienced. So the first thing on my list is urination. <laughs> see, um, I had a vaginal delivery and um, I had to go through <sighs> I was given an episiotomy because my baby's weight was beyond <laughs> what was expected so I was given episiotomy and episiotomy is just um, a cut that is given to the skin around the perineal area to expand the passageway and allow for easy labor or easy childbirth Instead of allowing natural tears that can cause cervical laceration and um, cause some complications that you don't want to experience. So I had episiotomy given. And um, during labor, you get to use the restroom periodically because the bladder gets in the way whenever they want to check for the progress of labor. So they advise that you use the restroom periodically. So that whenever they are doing um, vaginal examination to know how far dilated you are, it will be easy to actually determine that. Um, but nobody tells you that after labor, something is up and <laughs> waiting for you. So for me, after my um, episiotomy was repaired and I was moved to the recovery room, cleaned up and, my, and then moved to the recovery room, I had to use the restroom. Nobody told me what to expect. But I realized that from the moment that the first drop of urine came out, something about me has changed. What do I mean by this? I actually experienced pain with urination. I had pains so to the extent that I had to, you know, cringe on urinating. And there is that moment where, like, you feel it at that moment where, where you cannot stop the urine from coming. But you don't want to let it out because of the pain that comes with it. You know this peppery feeling, pepperish feeling. I, I, I had I had that feeling and it's as though I was urinating and somebody had sliced scotch bonnet pepper <laughs> on the surface of my urethra. That was exactly the, the way I felt. So when I complained to the midwife, she was like, oh, sorry about that. You had some little um, tears around your... Despite the fact that I was given episiotomy, you had some little tears around your um, labia, this and that, and you are going to feel pain because when you urinate, some drops of urine will actually touch those areas and you're going to feel pain. So, guys, prepare your mind. You are probably going to feel pain with urination after you've had your baby. Even um, for people with cesarean section, I was talking with one of my friends and she had um, a baby through cesarean section and she told me that even though a catheter is passed, you know, but the 
after the catheter is removed the very first urine that comes out you definitely feel pain you definitely will feel pain after that so prepare for that and the next i'm going to talk about is um poo <laughs> the vacation because you just had a baby the vacation can be very difficult you don't get to drink as much water as you wanted after delivery you don't get to eat as much vegetable as you wanted after delivery for this side of the world where i am it's either you take pap or pepper soup hot pepper soup after you've had your baby or for the yoruba yoruba is like me they give you hot amala fele fele with um what's it called now with ewedu soup so you don't get to eat as much vegetables as you wanted as you would have you know preferred or drink as much water my body system is already used to visiting the toilet every Wednesday day especially from the moment I got pregnant so I had to use the restroom the day after I had my baby and it was very difficult for me to pull because the pool was very very strong <laughs> god it was strong and the the with the with the um with that intensity i was scared to actually strain because any attempt to strain there's this way i feel that the part that was stitched up is going to tear apart so because of that fear i could not you know express myself as i would have wanted so i had to be trying to do it bit by bit until i was able to expel the little that i know was making me uncomfortable and i just let me just do this thing once so closed my eyes and <laughs> strained through it see you have laughing it was not funny i had to close my eyes and strain through it before the food now came out successfully and unfortunately um i later realized that some of the medications we are given during labor some of them are this, have the side effects of um, constipation so it even adds to the problem so to now <laughs> successfully defecate becomes voila then the next thing i'm going to talk about is your linear nigra oh god you see that line that comes from underneath your sternum to the pubis that black line that goes across all the way down they are not going to leave you immediately your baby comes out because <laughs> for me i thought that oh now that the baby is out let this linear nigra just fade off now but it's a lie they won't even leave in fact the first two weeks after your baby has been born <laughs> the first two weeks after delivery the line will still be there as though you are still pregnant well don't worry nothing to worry about gradually the line starts to fade the line starts to disappear see don't worry by three to four months the linear nigra is all gone it's all gone so don't bother yourself and um the next thing i'm going to talk about is the compression Completion after delivery is not going to come back to normal. You know, there were some discoloration you had and um, during pregnancy, there is some discoloration you had around your neck and abdomen. Don't bother about it. Your body complexion will come back to what it used to be. You don't need to use tonic cream. You don't need. You don't need to use, spend money on any cream. Just use what you were using before. What your skin is already used to. A particular body moisturizer your skin is already used to keep using it don't stress yourself your complexion will get back to how it used to be and the next time i'm going to talk about is bleeding <laughs> see let me be sincere with you you will bleed okay <laughs> that sounds scary but you will bleed <laughs> okay i'm sorry <laughs> but you will bleed for me i didn't do sit back i didn't mop my abdomen with some um, hot water I didn't sit on hot water, I didn't jola, I numb up my body with hot water. I just allowed nature to take its course and I bled for five weeks and five days after the delivery. The level of bleeding is going to reduce per time. The color of the bleeding will reduce per time. So don't stress yourself. Don't bother. If you notice that four weeks after delivery, after delivery, you are still bleeding. 
it's no cause for alarm. It's nothing to worry about. The only time you should be worried is if the bleeding increases. Instead of it to be decreasing, it means that it keeps increasing and the color doesn't change. It still remains bright red. Then that is when you should be worried. I'm going to address that in another video. I'm going to, you know, see your doctor or when to shout for help. I'm going to talk about it in another video. But naturally, the body recuperates, it recovers, and then um, because of involution, involution is basically your uterus going back to its normal state before pregnancy. Because of that, um, the bleeding is going to, you know, continue to reduce, and um, the color of the blood that comes out or the fluid, body fluid that comes out will continue to change. So no worries if you bleed no worries if after six weeks you are still bleeding then you may need to go for it the very last thing i'm going to address today is sex see eh? sex after childbirth is not as pleasurable as you may think in fact it can be very painful so i'm going to bother you one nugget by kyg as you are shopping for baby things, you are shopping for, you know, motherhood things, shop for KY gel and see, buy lubricant. Sex after delivery can be very painful. You may choose to wait till one month after delivery, although it is advised that you wait for six weeks after delivery till postpartum is over before you have sex. Your body has gone through a lot. People may be thinking, oh, the size of a baby, is it as big as the size of a penis? But they are not to be compared with each other. You've had your baby since six weeks ago and um, you want to have sex. And someone just expects, oh, your vagina should just open up because you've just had a baby. Mm -mm. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> so please, you may want to do as much foreplay as your body can permit and um, to also help get the right job just call your husband and explain to him oh babe um this is what i've had that it's very possible for women to have pain after sexual intercourse so if you don't mind of course you should not mind your pleasure should be his, you know focus so if you don't mind um if i don't lubricate him now because it's possible for you not to lubricate enough. Let's just use this KY gel to help our ministry so you both can enjoy the very first sex after shiver. Simple. Nothing to fight over. <laughs> you enjoy it, he enjoys it. End of discussion. So that's that's what I have for us today. I hope you enjoy watching this video. I hope you enjoy <laughs> everything I've talked about. I hope you've learned from me. Please, please, please share this with your friends, share with your family, like this video. If there are pregnant people around you, they need to know this truth. So please share with them. Tell them what they need to know. Let them know from this video. Thank you so much. Before you go, hit that subscribe button now. <laughs> hit the subscribe button. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Till then, stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.